Walking is the most basic method of human locomotion. We spend most of our lives doing it, and yet we never learned how to do it properly. What's worse, we're doing more damage to our bodies over time the more we walk incorrectly. Most of us have received an injury in one form or another. Some are the result of accidents or athletics, but many musculoskeletal disorders are from what doctors call ligamentous degeneration. That means as we age, daily movements such as walking can become painful and damaging to the joints. What happens is, as we walk, we start to lean forward, which can lead to lower back pain. In addition, we start to take too long of a step, which leads to the weakening of knee ligaments. The constant heel-toe strikes lead to foot pain and ankle instability. So all of this combined can make walking and movement both damaging and painful. When animals walk, they are pushing their bodies forward with the back legs and pulling themselves forward with the front legs. All four legs work efficiently with opposite sides of the body to counterbalance and steer the body through movement, while the shock of walking from gravity is distributed naturally throughout the entire body. When humans walk, we push against gravity with each step, like the quadruped, but our hands aren't on the ground to help pull us forward. Instead, we are more upright and most of the shock of walking is absorbed by the legs. Our upper body is mostly inactive and is only necessary to steer and balance. The shock of gravity is distributed disproportionately to our lower extremities, including the legs, hips, and lower spine. And these are the areas where we are mostly in pain and experience many dysfunctions, as we typically walk on uniformly flat surfaces that don't challenge the muscles. The result is bad posture. But wait, it gets worse. Animals don't have binding footwear that restricts muscular activation circulation and movement, we humans do. Most shoes are classified as having a positive heel in that the heel is lifted slightly higher than the toes. The way we walk in shoes with a positive heel is to strike the heel down first and let the front foot fall. This foot scan from the New York College of Podiatric Medicine shows how much pressure on the heel we experience in positive heel shoes. See the red marks at the heel? That means maximum force is hitting the joints when walking and standing wearing this type of shoe. Most athletic footwear today is constructed with a positive heel. The raised heel is to absorb ground forces at heel strike when walking or running. Yet, this positive heel construction does little to minimize the impact to the joints and lower back in everyday movement. When running in positive heel shoes, even the top models can't diminish the impact on the joints. The heel hits first at a maximum impact. The force travels up to the knee. The body is forward leaning, which transfers the force further up the hip to the lower back. This foot scan shows the red mark at heel strike. Ouch! This means our joints are being damaged with each step in top training shoes like this Nike Free. Unless we adapt a new way of walking and alternate our footwear, we will end up doing more damage to our bodies over time. Now listen to this. Hear that? That's what's happening when you run, which is why many runners experience knee pain and muscle strain. Comfort footwear is rapidly becoming the fastest growing market in the footwear industry. One reason, we are all walking in pain. One aspect of comfort footwear has been inspired by this. This sandal is classified as an unstable shoe with a negative heel. It has a rounded bottom which allows the heel to be lower than the toes when walking. This is an actual Maasai sandal from Kenya and if you notice, it's made of a tire and a tire is round. Now this simple design has revolutionized footwear through its inherent instability. Shoes with midfoot contact and rounded soles allow the foot to achieve a more natural movement, as if walking barefoot on natural uneven surfaces. This is me and my bare feet. Notice any red marks? Uh-uh. This is because my weight is evenly distributed doing a standing exercise called the Dyna Twist. 
This is me standing in my unstable footwear doing the same exercise. Still, no red marks. I'm placing less stress on my feet and joints standing and walking as nature intended. Unstable footwear can help train your muscles so no matter what shoes you're wearing, you're making your body healthier. In unstable footwear, the body is allowed to be more upright as muscles are more active. Plus, the body is more relaxed as it achieves a more natural walking pattern. Under these circumstances, the body can actually walk for longer periods of time and experience less stress.